Good morning, everybody. Welcome to sunny, 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 hot, hot, hot Weymouth. I think today is going to be the last day we have like this. Um, I think it's going to be a bit cloudy. We haven't had rain for a couple of weeks. I look at everybody else's videos and they're like, oh, we've had rain, we've had rain. We haven't. It's Saturday morning. 10 to 11. And let's see what's going on. Right, first of all, I'm going to sit under my umbrella and we're going to talk about slugs. I've tried everything. Well, not everything, but I've tried most things. So I have bought some more slug pellets. We're going to try this on the sunflowers, the pom-pom, no, teddy bear. Teddy bear sunflowers. So I'm going to put three pots out. I've already got one pot out and with three in and they've eaten two of them. Haven't been to have a look at them. I do think I put a few slug pellets on them after they'd eaten the two. So hopefully that one's still alive, I'll plant another two and put some more of these on. Also, I've got some of these wood pellets. Oh, sorry. Wood pellets. So we're going to plant another pot with three sunflowers in and put some wood pellets on. And also, in this box, Anne, thank you, Anne. Thank you very much. That is, honestly, that's really kind of you. She sent me something in this box and we're going to show you now. Haven't got my stand working yet. I've sent away for something. Right, slug away they're called. Reusable plant protectors. And I'm presuming that if the slugs do crawl up, they can't get under that lip and round it. So I'm going to put one of them over and by the way it's my birthday on Monday so little does Anne know she's actually bought me a birthday present thank you Anne <laughs> right let's get on it right this is the pot where I planted three and I did put slug pellets on it as you can see snail there snail there snail there but they didn't actually get my sunflower. There's something going on in that leaf there, so I'm going to nip that off. Looks like either caterpillar or um, either black fly or green fly. Right, so I'm going to plant another. I've got a couple down here. So I'm going to plant some of them, two of them in there, put some more... Um, them slug pellets on and then we'll give it a water and pop it back out right there's number one with slug pellets on let's find another pot and we'll plant three more okay I planted floor floor four because I had four left in that pot there but don't worry I've got some more as you can see, I've put wood pellets down. This is what they look like. I hope you can see that all right. So I'm going to just pop them on there. Water it, and it says that what it does is when the snail or slug starts to crawl over it, it absorbs the moisture underneath the slug. That, that little slimy stuff that it leaves behind and it doesn't like it so it turns around and goes the other way so let's see how we get on with that one so here's our pot we've got a couple two four six eight ten teddy bear sunflowers i'm going to pick three out of there put them in that pot there we go three in there so we'll get this. 
pop it over the top, push it in a bit, so that they can't get underneath. There we go. Let's have a go at that. And I've had a th I've had a thought about this as well. If that doesn't work, you could rub Vaseline, which is very cheap. You could rub Vaseline on the outside of that, and um, I don't know. That might work, but we'll see with this first. If this doesn't work, which I'm, I'm, I really think it will, because if the slugs are crawling up there, I've done it enough so that they can't get from there to there. Um, you know, but if it doesn't work, I'm going to try it with Vaseline on. But I really think that that will work. Thank you very much, Anne. That's really much appreciated. Okay, there they are, all sat sort of in the sunshine shade at the moment. The sunshine's just coming round. Just found another snail there. And hopefully they all work. We've got a woodlouse in there already. Can you see him? Naughty little thing. But that should be okay. Right, let's keep our fingers crossed with them. Let's keep our fingers crossed that all of them work. Now to the Tayberry or Loganbury, whichever it is. I think it's Tayberry. I've just, there's only two branches there and I've picked loads of them. You have to make sure that they are ripe. It's like one day, you've got to go check them every day. And I have got quite a few punnets from it. And there's one I just picked this morning. Let's get you out in the sunshine. They kind of taste like raspberries. Um, that, believe it or not, is almost ripe. You have to wait until they're really dark and they taste very sort of perfumey. That is ripe, I can feel it. Yeah, they kind of taste perfumey, so I might just make jam out of them and see, see what they're like. Sour, a little bit sour, or should I say tart? They're tart and a bit sour. I better leave these out here around the back of my shed in the cool. It's nice and cool around here. Right, what's next? Okay, as you can see, my coal frame, I've had to put this netting on it. Everybody's getting into the wiggle finger. Come on, let's get all get into the wiggle finger. Um, I've put this netting on because cats have been getting in and pooping. They have been pooping. So what I've done in here is... I have planted. I'm having no luck with um, cucumbers this year. Last year, I had much, much, much too many. This year, so I've planted these two in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them bucket things over again, which Anne gave me. And we're going to try them. Okay, there we go. So I've given them a good water. I've put them over. There is snails in here. Uh, you can see one there. You can see one there. Is that all? Is that all? I'm with loads in here. Right, yes, yeah, so let's keep our fingers crossed about that too. I've got all, do you remember them silver skins that I um, planted? Never planted them before. And they all came up, so I've put them in here, in single cells, one in each one, just to see how they grow. It'd be nice if they grew. I'm going to have to give them a water, maybe push them to the back, so that the sun doesn't get to them so much. Right, here's that carrot box that I made. The carrots are coming up. And do you remember I had some kind of bean that was growing? Well, what I've done, I haven't pulled them out. 
you can see there's one growing here. I've snipped the tops off of them. So what I have been doing, because it's been hot weather as well, I've been watering them even at this time of day when it's red hot sunshine. And I've been putting this netting over the top so that the sun, the well, the light's still getting in, but it stays da damp. And then when I go home, I can take the top off and it's not going to burn the baby leaves. So every couple of days I've been doing that. I did it yesterday, so I'm not going to do it again today. Now, remember what I said about my Jerusalem artichokes? When I had that wire cover over the top to stop the cats from getting in, as soon as the plant grew to here, the slugs and snails obviously crawled over the top of that and started eating them. So I've taken that off now. I'm going to put slug pellets on it. Not the wooden ones, just normal slug pellets. They're still getting in there, but at least now they're growing. They've stopped nibbling them, look. But they are still um, nibbling bits. I mean, look at that one. And that one. Look. So let's get some slug pellets in there. Okay, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I normally pick my garlic on my birthday, which is on Monday. But this year, it didn't come up. It did not come up. Um, again, I tried all sorts here for the, for the snails as well. If you remember, I tried these things. I um, planted cucumbers here and they all got eaten, every single one of them. So I've just popped a tomato in there, which is, this isn't working. Take that off, give it a bit more of a chance. I shall give it a water in a short while, but I will just water down here. I won't be watering the plant itself. So yes, my, these didn't work. They did last year. They don't last very long either, so. Um, and, oh, I have got one garlic. As I was planting these, especially that one, and I think that one, I actually dug into the garlic. So the bulb was still fine, but that is one garlic coming up there. So I shall just leave it and see what happens. It might grow again next year. We never know. And the other garlic that I planted late, if you remember, around here, didn't expect much from it. And guess what? I haven't got much from it. I'm not digging them up either. Oh, it's got quite big. I don't know whether to dig them up and save them for, like, October or just leave them. I think I'll just leave them in there. Although it's not an ideal place for them to grow. I'll have a think about that. I might dig them up. What do you think? Should I dig them up, dry them out? Not dry them out, but... And then plant them again in October, November? Well, I normally do it in October, so... Um, but, yes, I need... I would like elephant garlic if anybody's got a few spare um, cloves that they wouldn't mind sending me. I will pay postage um, if anybody's got any. I've got my email address wrote down here somewhere in all this mess. Did have. Can't find it now. I shall write it down anyway. Yes, yeah, so if anybody's got any um, cloves of elephant garlic, I would love some, please. Like I said, I'll pay postage. I'll even pay for the cloves, if you know. Um, but that would be awesome. 
So there's my email address. If you send me an email, then uh, we can get in contact that way and I can let you have my address. Fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, strawberries are like running a bit thin as well. See here? Slugs, snails, wood lice, ants, whatever. This is why I like to pick them before they go ripe. As long as they've got a little bit of um, red on them. See there, that's like all white. But that pink, they will pink up. That is perfect. That is just, ah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I bit into that and the juice went everywhere. But they will not be wasted. I'll cut that bit off and eat them. I'm just going to sit here in a minute and wonder what to do next and eat my strawberries. Okay, first time for growing kohlrabi. I actually picked one last week and somebody said, oh, can I try that? So I never got to try it, so I picked this one. Um, what I'm going to do is just slice a bit of the top off and taste it. I don't know if I like it or not. I might even make some chips with it later on and see, or crisps. Chips, french fries, crisps, chips, both, and have a go. So I'm going to cut the top off now and have a little taste and tell you what I think. Mm. It's a bit like the heart of a cabbage. So I don't know what it's going to taste like cooked, but yeah, it was okay. I won't, I won't, I won't eat any more. I might make some, like I said, chips, French fries out of it later on and see what it tastes like. I'll let you know in a later video. Don't know if you remember me saying, but a while ago, um, an old friend of mine got in touch with me. Um, from Leeds and her husband was working down in this area so she came to see me I haven't seen her for oh, 20, 25 years and then her sister got hold of me Jo, Joanne and she sent me down loads of seeds and I said I'll save them till next year but I haven't I've started growing some so I've got Swede there in the corner, I've got loads of leeks there, which I've got a bed ready for them. A um, few cauliflower, you know what I'm like, hardly anything grows for me. Um, kale, Nero de something. I've got some cos lettuce growing there, never grown that before. Um, chicory, never grown that before. That's my one and only melon that's left. And it's just hanging on in there. The one round at the big garden is growing well. Uh, that started growing really well. Um, these are the silver skins. Onions. She sent me them as well, so I thought I'd give it a go. It says so June, so harvest round about September time. And they're the ones that I planted out singularly. So hopefully we'll see how they get on. But she sent me a massive bag. See what we've got left in here. Right, she sent me all these. Thank you, Joanne. Very, very much appreciated. And it's nice to hear from you again. We used to have good fun when we were young. Hmm. Less said about that, the better. Nothing, nothing bad. And there was many more as well. Um... So, yes, I'm going to look forward to growing all of them next year. And this year, I've planted, like I said, I've planted quite a lot in the greenhouse as um, winter vegetables. So, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I went to Wilkins yes, Wilkinson's yesterday, or Wilco's as they now call themselves, and I bought all these for half price. 
I know they will go cheaper soon, but I wanted to make sure that I got exactly what I wanted and not the ones that I would have had to have had. The good old Marigold look, 25p a packet, half price, 12p. Can't go wrong for that. I tried growing them this year and they all got eaten by the slugs. The, the problems I have had with slugs this year is just unbelievable. I'm looking forward to growing them. I'm looking forward to growing them. I'm looking forward to growing them. I'm looking forward to growing all of them, but especially them. They look so pretty. I'm not a flower person, or I wasn't. I am now. Right, let's take you down to the bottom to show you how my um, squashes and everything's getting on. I know I've got three pumpkins. And here we go. That one, whatever that was, died. It died, it. It did. It passed away. Um, pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. And they're starting to spread out as well now, look. So, yippee. At least I'm going to have a pumpkin. That one's growing in the wrong direction, but I will try and sort of take it this way and then go around here haven't got a clue what that is but it's not growing too well I know I've got butternut squash in here and I know I've got one spaghetti squash and normally I grow lots and lots of spaghetti squash I have got some lovely courgettes on here I don't like them here we go. I don't like them, but what I do is I can pick it that size and eat it myself. They are so juicy. I shall leave these one more day and then they should be big enough. Right, what I've been doing is self-fertilising them. That's obviously a female. I can't... there. That's obviously a female because it's got the courgette on it. Underneath is the male because there isn't a courgette on it. And what I do is I pull that off and I have to try and do this one-handed. Oh, come on. Come on. I pull that off like that. I will open this flower up. I normally do it a bit more delicate than this. And then I will put that, there we go. I will put that in there like that. And that has now fertilized that courgette. If you don't do that and the bees haven't been in to do it, it will rot on the end and just die it won't grow any bigger than that so that's why i tried to do and i believe this one here is a courgette too but that hasn't got any flowers on yet it's got a tiny little one growing there so yes oh and i've got a flower on my on my runner beans these are the ones that I had to catch off somebody. Because um, all mine were eaten by the snail. Now I'm not 100% sure that looks like a courgette as well. Although I thought that might have been the spaghetti squash. So we will see. That could be the spaghetti squash. I've got my fingers crossed that one of them is going to be a spaghetti squash. That could be a spaghetti squash. <laughs> oh dear, that could be a spaghetti squash. So yes, right. I'm going to have a look at my potatoes now because it looks like they're dying off a little bit. 
So let's pick one. We've got a little bag under here. I'm going to drag that out and we'll harvest that one. Right, I think there's one, I think I put one potato in here, although there's stalks coming from there and there, so I must have put two in. I meant to fill it up. Oh, all the snails under there. Ah, there's lots of them. <laughs> anyway, um, where were I? <laughs> I meant to start filling that up, but I didn't. I forgot. And then they grew that big that I couldn't get into it. So I'm not expecting too much from in there. I think they are Pentland Javelin, which I love them. They come out so white. So let's get on it. I'm not going to be able to film all of this because I haven't got my stand thing yet. Right, I'm going to try and show you. As I was pulling them out, there was a couple of little potatoes that came out. Even that's big enough to eat. There was two potatoes in there. Look, there's the mother plants. The mother potatoes. Right. Let's have a go. Let's have a go one-handed. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. I'm just going to get something to put this soil in. It's all a bit of white down here. It's like Christmas, isn't it? Let me just go get another bucket. There we go. One for potatoes, one for the soil. Like I said, I'm not expecting a lot. I forgot to fill it up. Oh, there's one, there's one. There's another. Oh. Gosh, that's not so bad size either. I'm getting quite a few. Normally, with me, Pent and Javelin are pretty good. Um, I do normally get quite a good yield from them. And they're yummy. They are such a yummy potato. I can feel quite a lot in here still. Maybe not. Sorry for moving you about so much. Right, I'm going to put you down a minute and just check. Go through and see if there's any more. It's still coming up. That's not bad so far, look. Right, hang on a minute. Okay, that's it. That's not bad. Two potatoes. It's not brilliant. But it's not bad. I could have left them in there a bit longer. Why did I grow them in a bag? Because I didn't have any containers left. I've got a few more now, so... Right, I'm going to give them a clean and we'll have a look, see what they look like. Look, Terry! I got one! It's awesome! It kind of, it kind of peels them as well. It takes all that skin off. Rawr. Look, it sort of peels them as well. So that's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I had to get one. <laughs> it's like you said though, Terry, finding the right one um, that fits inside your drill. And now you've got that new drill. Um, you can't find one. Well, that one. I got from Asda, it was about 50p I think, with the holder, so, and that has got quite a thin um, stalk to it, whatever that's called, whatever you would call that, but yes, it's brilliant. 
Here we go, nice clean spuds, all ready to eat, except for these few little. All ready to put in the pan and boil up, and I am going to keep them for myself. Okay, so we've just run into 30 minutes, so let's hope these little fellows um, live. We'll see which one works the best. I hope they all work. I do. I know when you put pellets down, you normally find slugs in there. Oh, that's a tiny little wiggle finger. Um, sorry. Yes, you will find little slugs in there. I'm hoping that we don't find any slugs in there. And I'm hoping we don't find any slugs in there. So, isn't that beautiful? They're um, mini... Oh, look, spittle bug. I've got a blooming spittle bug on it. If you ever wonder what that is, it's spittle bug. And the way to get rid of it is just by spraying it off or pulling it off. And I don't like touching bugs, but you just pull it off. I can get a piece of tissue and do it. Um, but yeah, they're just going over their stock, mini stock, and they've grown funny. Don't like them. So I'm not buying the dwarf one again. And more Alisan. I love that stuff. Right, okay. Ouch, from Sunny Weimar. I'm going to bid you all a goodbye. Bye-bye.